In the spotlight this morning, it is time once again for a ghoulish good time. I love saying that with the 17th annual Vortex Sci-Fi Fantasy and Horror Film Festival. And here to tell us all about this year's big event, we have George Marshall of the Flickers Rhode Island International Film Festival, along with programming director Sean Quirk. Good morning, George. Hey, good morning. Nice to see you, Sean. Good morning. Pleasure. Lots to talk about. Here we go. People love this event. They love movies. They love Halloween. They love horror. They love all that stuff. So, George, what do we need to know, Well, this sir? is our 17th year of doing this Incredible. program and it's fascinating for us because it allows us to pr run program we can't normally do during the year right. particularly with the uh, main festival in August so this year we had over 3,000 genre films that we could select from I think we're doing over 80 Sean yeah and they run the gamut so when we say sci-fi fantasy horror it is just that and uh, we actually have several filmmakers coming in and we have a number of world premieres. It's going to be tremendously exciting for all of the horror aficionados out there or maybe for those people that aren't even really that into horror. Maybe they can dab a little bit and learn something. So Sean, let's go through some of the films that are going to be screened here, starting with Moom. What do we need to know? Well, Moom is a fantastic film by uh, Suzuki Susami and it's all about memories. Oh. And it, it's an animation. It's the, the, the filmmaker was all, already nominated for Best Animated Short with another film he did a little while Which we back. actually premiered a couple years ago. Called The Dam Keeper. So mm -hmm. it's a fantastic short film, beautiful animation. Uh, uh, and it's also a Japanese co-production, so there's a, some, some Japanese influences there with the characters. And this is actually being shown as part of a shorts package for kids at the po local public library. It's all free. We have a number of free programming throughout the course of this festival. Very cool. That is indeed beautiful animation. And yeah. moving on to Reversal. Reversal. Classic take on time travel. Um, kind of brings us back to Time Machine. Right. A filmmaker, he tries to go back to prevent the murder of his wife through using this, this magical film projector. And it's right. just, a, just a great film uh, talking about the essence of time. Sure. And, Lots of and, creative possibilities. And yeah. moving on here to The Signalman. Mm -hmm. Signalman's the first film adaptation of Dickens, Charles Dickens' short story, The Signalman, which is his first horror short story. Great, great film uh, all about this. It's very classic. Uh, Science, uh, science, like um, uh, sci like dark, psych uh, dark psychological thriller. I like it. Yeah. So you've confused me already. <laughs> 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 and moving on here to a very simple yet effectively ominous title, The Open. The Open. Yeah. It's a uh, this is a feature film by Marc Lahore, and it's a fantastic French film, uh, all about the French Open after the end of the world. So we have the apocalypse just before the French Open happens, and we have two tennis players who sur survive two tennis players. with Very their cool. coach and they still train to have their French Open and it's really kind of a commentary on what makes us human, what brings civilization together, and it's also a big tribute to sports. And it was actually and shot in Scotland, which is cool. kind of interesting because if you look at the backstory where they shot it, it's been years since they actually used that location. Very cool. You might say, I will love it. Thank yeah. you it's very much. It's a very hopeful film, despite, because the apocalypse happens at the, at the beginning, yeah. and that's all about them trying to recuperate. So very really cool. Good. And Tomorrow Ever After. Tomorrow Ever After is a, this is a feature film about a sociol sociologist who comes back in time to the present day from 500 years in the future and she's very progressive and mm -hmm. she's trying to deal with all the problems that she sees in today's society and it's really kind of an interesting commentary on how we interact with people and yeah and she's and actually like, going to be here tomorrow because we're doing a whole package at Providence College again that's free screening programming we're using multiple colleges as well for folks they can go on campus they can watch the films for free but it also ties it into the students as well to see something they couldn't one afford and two they would miss sure and some truly captivating content there I mean these are going to be great films and let's talk about a nice um, sort of compliment to the entire thing the Lovecraft tour sure, this, this is, just grows in popularity yeah, every yeah, th year. this is our ninth year last year we had more than a hundred people attend over two days and what makes our, t our tour special is that not only do you do the 90 minute tour but then you go to the province public library and see films that are inspired by Lovecraft or specifically taken from his stories and since we've been doing this I think we've covered a great a, a lot of ground that you normally would never see and then you start realizing wait a second that Ridley Scott film Alien seems to be inspired by this right. and then you start stitching it together the impact of H.P. Lovecraft and what the importance is to Providence. And what does it mean to you, Sean, bringing all these films, films together? It's great. It's wonderful, and we're, also, we're discovering new talent. Right, yeah. And filmmakers from around the world and, and sharing them with Rhode Island audiences, and it's, there's nothing better. Well, it's really. going to be a great thing, and George, it's always oh, a pleasure to have you so join much. us. And Sean, thank you very much for being thank you here. So much. Terrific stuff going on. If you guys would like to check out the Horror Film Festival for yourselves, we'll post a link to all of the details, including the schedule, on our website. It's roadshow.com.